Hi guys, this is Free World and I'm Abby. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to switch between two scenes, including setting up transition effects, working in the studio mode, and using custom hockey. Let's get into it. If you are not already learned to how to set a multi-camera for your broadcast, click the link below and go to watch our guide on how to live streaming with multi-camera. Selecting the scene and choosing transition effects from the drop-down list towards the bottom right of the interface. Here you can also modify the duration of the transition, which is set to 300 milliseconds by default. The available transitions are fade and cut by default. However, if you click the plus button under the transition select drop-down, it will give you the additional options. Swipe, slide, fade to color, and loom wipe. Click the button on the bottom right to activate studio mode. This add a preview window on the left side of the interface. Then you have a chance to preview your settings before go live. And the program view window on the right side that shows you what is being captured by OBS. To push what you are see in your preview into your program, click the transition button between the two. Once you set up your scenes the way you like them, and you can bind a hotkey to each of your scenes to transition to them easily, open all the settings, go to the hotkey tab, and place your cursor in the view labeled. Switch to the scene for the session corresponding to your first scene. Then press the key you want to associate with the scene. Here we choose F1. Repeat this for each scene. If you are working in a studio mode, switching hockey will not change what is actually captured in your video. They will only change what appears in the preview. You can also set hockey for the transition field so that you can use the push your scene switcher into your program view. Not that OBS will not prevent other applications' hotkeys from working. For example, if you have F5 bound to a scene and you hit FYY in the browser, the browser will refresh but the hotkey will also trick your scene to switch. Most video switchers on the market have built-in switching effects, for instance, our Live Pro A1v1, which sports 14 transition effects. Just turn the push knob to select the effect you want and press push to confirm. Then you can realize the effect by pressing the button or pushing the T-bar. That's all of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.